Yeah. So, so Vijay Menon says, advice, the wise don't need it and the fools won't take it. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so, so see, the, the, the danger with these statements, I hope you appreciate. Fools won't take it. Fool, the word fool is a label. Label. So we have to be cautious, very cautious using it. Very cautious. Because even I was a fool. Sometime all of us were fools. I did by some measure we were also fools. And now we all think we are all wise people. So that means that if a fool can become a wise person, then anybody can become a wise person. So there is no such person called a fool. Okay. As long as we keep that in the back of the mind. So we have to be careful when we use these words. Okay. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah, Harapasa, there you are. <clears throat> uh, Mahodaya, um, you translated the word uh, Mahabaho in the last class, Baho as Skanda, shoulder. Okay. Is, is, is that word shoulder or hand? In some places, as, for example, Ajana Bahu, that is a Bahu, it is a hand. Uh, it is not a shoulder. That's what I wanted to ask you. So Haraprasadji is asking a, a technical question here. And what is the meaning of the word Bahu? And uh, so because in the previous shloka, what, uh, so Asamshayam Mahabahu is referring to shloka number 35. <clears throat> where Mahabaho, Krishna addresses Arjuna as Mahabaho. It means, my, he says, some translations are mighty armed and other are translations are mighty shouldered, you know, shoulder, etc. So, I have to look back, I have to look at the dictionary, okay? I have not, uh, we need to really look at the dictionary and see what it says. But, uh, so, uh, Harprasa is saying, there is another word called, if you say a mighty shoulder, man, a person with mighty shoulders, then there is also a word called Ajanu Bahu. Bahu okay. is arms, I think, right? Ah, Ajana Bahu. Ajanu Bahu. So Rama is called Ajanu Bahu because that Bahu means hand there, the arm, okay, hand, which goes from the shoulder down to the tip of the fingers. Mm -hmm. And uh, that word, how, what kind of hand he has? Ajanu. Janu means till the Janu. Janu means knees. Knee, K N E E. So it seems his hands go all the way from the shoulder to the knee, you know. So that, that's how long is the hand he has. And the implication is to have a long hand is advantageous and it's very makes a person powerful. That's the implication. So is it hand or is it shoulder? Okay. So I give this as a homework to, to you. Any of you who wants to do this homework, do some research and get back. Let's and then share that with the class. And, uh, Except me, because I am asking the question. <laughs> <laughs> so Aram Prasad is excusing himself from this exercise, from this homework. Uh, excellent. <laughs> okay. He recused himself. <laughs> uh, all right any other questions yeah once you have some time uh, Mahodaya explain clearly the last sloka you mentioned the, I mean the yeah the Purna Madaf Purna Midam uh, I know the ballpark meaning but I want to know a little bit more about so then you have some time. So we'll do that. We'll do, we'll okay. dedicate dedicate one class or something for that. Yeah. Mantra mm -hmm. for understanding mantra. Okay. Oh, so that. I'll take that as a... <clears throat> so just because I gave you homework doesn't mean you should give me a homework, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> okay, any other questions? But I mean, more than one class with the, 
all the translation of the shanti mantras okay no, we blindly chant many things okay so <clears throat> what we should do is this uh, the, all the shanti mantras we chant we should know the meaning of these mantras and uh, i've told it uh, at least once if not twice but uh, would everybody like a recap of that a uh, reminder a uh, review of that okay sure. so i'll do this one class will dedicate for the shanti mantras and it will take easily it will take uh, a class i think and so we'll take it slowly one word at a time keep your uh, does everybody have the the mantras in printed form or written form or something so you can review yeah okay so i see some people who don't have it and uh, so anjali and others uh, vijay i think you may have to uh, send them the documents okay mm -hmm. uh, perhaps uh, that will be good for those who are new to the class newer to the class may may benefit from that okay yeah so point taken we will dedicate one class for that yeah guruji yeah uh, is my understanding right uh, janu is uh, hand and uh, no. babu is shoulder janu is knee e janu is knee knee k n e e knee okay janu is knee uh, so the hands that uh, uh, that extends be below, beyond the knee uh, uh, it is uh, r is given so the uh, the length of the uh, hands are given so uh, is... the prefix r one of the meanings of the prefix r means till till Till. Till. Okay. so till the knee till the knee the so hands we, extend we have uh, we have the uh, one of the uh, um, one of the functions in the, um, uh, before the marriage is jana vasam so it means uh, till that day the boy will will be wearing a veshti dhoti up to the knee so he is given on that occasion Uh, uh, bigger uh, eight uh, um, eight yards um, um, uh, dhoti to wear. So it, I uh, somewhere I have uh, heard this. I see. I see. Okay, I, it's interesting. Yeah, if you can find out a little more about it, I yeah. like to know. I like it. It is. Know. It is before uh, marriage. They wear rendu malam vesti. And after that, they were uh, eight months of age. Four, 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 <laughs> and after after the marriage he gets the budget <laughs> so yeah if anybody can find out the the the, the significance there i think that would that would be interesting janu janu ibari in that amsa chira nyaya so there was a joke also somebody men mentioned if you give time to hamsa it will definitely separate it hamsa will definitely what oh, it can separate can... water from milk yeah oh i see <laughs> oh it's no, it time <laughs> that means it will piss out <laughs> that's what it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> see how interesting how they think about all these things no what kind of examples they give right <laughs> every very in all of our in our puja room everything is very symbolic i mean very powerful a powerful symbology is there for every peacock and then saraswati the veena and uh, everything uh, in adakshinamurti shiva all the sages that are there sitting at the feet of shiva and shiva why shiva is young everything is meaningful my god we can talk for ages on this they associate various animals uh, to like these gods just to be important that everything is god's creation so that's probably one of the reasons like even a rat is associated with ganapati 
like a bull yeah. to shiva right like this thing right right vahana yeah any other questions okay no comments all right good so we can uh, will we have some ideas so dhyana shloka and purnamadaha will include that in our classes yeah i'll let you know so you can be prepared for that yeah om namo bhagavate vasudevaya dhanvantaraye amrita kalasha hastaya सर्वामय विनाशनाय त्रैलोक्यनाथाय श्री महाविष्णवे नम ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय धन्वे अमृतकलशहस्ताय सर्वामय विनाशनाय त्रैलोक्यनाथाय श्री महाविष्णवे नम ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय धन्वे अमृतकलशहस्ताय सर्वामय विनाशनाय त्रैलोक्यनाथाय श्री महाविष्णवे नम थैंक यू ऑल वेरी मच